phone itself, but it gives you an idea of what the... Uh, hey, everybody. It's Max with PhoneArena.com. We're in San Francisco with LG. They've invited uh, a few of us here for a rather intimate look at the LG G Flex, uh, both inside and out. And in addition to the display, they gave us um, a couple of the back panels to work with here. As you can tell from the light reflecting off of this back plate uh, to the left, that is clearly an unprotected uh, display. If you look at this one on the right, it is a protected display. Now, when I say protected, it means it's not impervious. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this brush, I'm going to brush it a couple of times, I'm going to show you the scratches, and then they say that it heals faster with uh, increased heat, so I'm going to rub it a little bit just to increase the heat uh, during the course of this video, and then you can see uh, how good it is. So I'm not going to dig into it here, but it's just to kind of mimic um, how you know it might be with keys, um, or you know something else, loose change in your pocket. So you can see I've created some scratches there. It looks like a, a, a broad scratch there. And then we'll let that self heal for a second. And while it's doing that, I want to show you what the battery looks like. This is a 3,500 milliamp hour battery, um, and it's curved just like the phone. So you can get a perspective here of what that looks like. This is gently curved. Um, we were told not to mess around with it and try to bend it or flatten it out or anything like that. But uh, since you can flatten out the phone, obviously the battery's got some flexibility to it. Um, this device uh, will have better battery performance than uh, what you'll even find out of the uh, LG G2. And um, this battery itself is already bigger than what can be found on the uh, LG uh, G Pro. So let's go back to the uh, back cover here that's protected so you can see it's still self-healing. So I'm just gonna just increase the temperature a bit because it's pretty cool in this room here. And this is akin to buffering out. It's like a clear coat um, or what you might see on one of the new Nissan cars where you can get um, some uh, scratch protection on that device. And already it's improving a little bit here. So it takes a few minutes. But as you can tell just before, because we've already been scratching this thing up all night, and compared to its unprotected cousin here, it, even with the scratches on it, it looks better. Um, so that's one of the benefits uh, to the LG G Flex. Of course, we don't have any carrier announcements here in the U.S. Um, however, since we're here in the U.S. talking about this device, we can only hope um, that we'll see this on some of the major players um, that support LG. The LG G2 has enjoyed some pretty good success across the spectrum um, with all the carriers, so we can hope that we can see a device like this um, uh, in the U.S. as well. It'll probably have a hefty price tag in Korea. This this uh, um, says subsidized uh, device goes for almost a thousand bucks, but it's certainly got our attention because it's flexible, um, it is protective, and um, it's got a snappy Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 processor underneath. So that's a look at some of the inside and outside of the uh, LG G Flex. Keep checking in with us here at phonearena.com for more about the LG G Flex.